of course. And that that goes for any game. Whatever you're looking for, it's the one spot you haven't looked. <laughs> Always. Oh, do I need to be down? I need to be down. Well, waterfalls tend to go down. Do they? Uh, I don't see very many that go the opposite direction, but I could be wrong. Wow. I honestly thought they were all gravity defying. There is one uh, that goes upwards. Uh, ever. I, I think, it, I think it's over in Europe. Or no. Okay. Or is it uh, Africa? Can't remember where it is now. I think it's Africa. All right, let's... Um... It, it, it actually... The, the wind, the way it comes up this tall waterfall, it, it makes the waterfall turn upwards and go back up. All right. I, I don't know whether to believe you or not. I don't no, know seriously. Pull him, yank him a chain or... No, no, seriously. There's a... You can look it up. There's people... It's a popular tourist destination where you can see the waterfall actually start to go down and then it goes back up. Okay. Yeah, right, it's anyway. due, to the, due to the updraft. <laughs> pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> okay. I'm muting my mic. Shut up. This, this could be an important page of the manual. You, I'm trying to build the tension. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh -huh. I see a cold. Well, I see a code, but how do you translate said code? This is the um okay are these numbers the numbers on our bingo card 28 plus 34 62 but uh are these the ones on our bingo card uh 51 is your first that's your starting point Well, we don't have a that would be my guess. On. We don't have a fifty-one on here. That means you have to do math to get to the fifty-one. There would be the fifty minus one. Add the arrow from the. Yeah, no, I know. I know. This is inside the page, LB. Don't worry. Fifty-two, thirty-four, thirteen. Add that. It's the last page, though. That's not helpful. <laughs> the key piece is torn at the bottom and lost forever. Yeah. <laughs> On that little scrap of paper right there. <laughs> That's the key to the whole game. <laughs> the other, 50, the other 55, 54 and a bit pages are useless. <laughs> All right. So I don't know what to make of this. Yeah, it's just a gem shape, but pieces of a gem shape for the K instead of circles. It's actually just uh, eight sides. It's a oblong octagon. And then you got the, the other variables on the bottom section. And then it shows okay. on the right, the right hand side. What happens if you combine them? So, so like the top, I think the top and the bottom are the bigger clues for the for the middle section for the sword and the and, and yourself.
Okay, let me... I have an idea, but I'm not gonna... Let me... Say any more than I've already said. Do something here. Okay. Well, there's no forty one. No thirty two. Doesn't seem particularly helpful. Thirty four. Bottom left. Eleven. Um, 28 and 34 is 62. 62. There's no 62. There's a 28. Only goes up to 55, so. That's repeating 34. 48. No fifty three. Fifty one to one fifty two or Yeah, I don't think. I think this is right. It's definitely though. I'm 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 convinced that there is there are some numbers somewhere because obviously we got like this starting point here. Yeah, so twelve has to be the first, and then the symbols on the bottom are different on the left and the right. Okay. Yeah. I see. I see what you now 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 match those up with the symbols on the other side of the page. Hold on a minute. Hold on. Um, how many have we actually got here? 18, 24 is 32, 52. It's 52 circles here. Is that right? Yeah, six. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, no, 36, 42 symbols. Uh, 42 take 26 is 16. Okay, I was wondering whether or not that this equated to 26 letters and 10 numbers, but then we have leftovers, we have six left over. But, hold on. Uh, no, okay. Another thing I was looking at, because obviously we, what I've noticed throughout, uh, when we've always looked at the manual, and we, if we look at the, this like, there's, there's always like a line in the middle of these symbols. I don't know. Maybe it's just.
make silence. Any, to make any of these symbols, though, like I know I'm referencing like these these ones here in particular. But to make any of these symbols in these ones as an example. It has to be like a be a combination of two or two or more, doesn't it? Well look to the right of the sheet. Your examples are given on the right of the sheet. Bottom, top, they combine. Yeah, I mean, I think. Take a new. I can annotate. I'm, I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm looking at this, right? And I'm seeing like a divide between the two groups. And what I'm seeing here is these are all sort of outsides. Right, and the rest, that's what I was saying. They're like, look at the examples yeah. on your right. And these are all insides. Yeah, look at the examples on your right. So. And then how they culminate into sword means that and fox means the brown chicken, brown cow. I'm not. Are these, though, actually meant to be circles? Or placeholders? Maybe they're just. Maybe I need to, like, ignore the circles. I think they're just circles like to, yeah, like you say, they're just sort of like frames or placeholders for the actual symbols. So we need to look past the circles. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's why it's grayed out or uses the pencil gray as opposed to the ink. It's permanent on top, which is really what you're looking at. Circles mean nothing other than holding makes it easier to if you think about it, right. circles this, this, makes it easier to line a line or grid piece, and make sense of each angle. This here, that's in gold, worth a fortune, is identical to the left to, to the left side of this. Okay, so that is the same thing written there twice. Also, looking at these two here, whatever the first representation is, is repeated on the same side.
Hold on a minute. Hold, please. Okay. I think I've worked out this. I believe miracles. All right, I'm going to I'm going to abandon my miracles. I'm going to abandon the decoding thing at the minute. I want to take a screenshot of this. I have a hunch that the numbers on here are actually telling me what pages of the manual or what areas we can actually find these on. So for instance, if you look here, there are two number 53s on this wheel. Well, on page 53, it tells me that there are two secret chests I can find. So if I then go to page 51, I think that is relating to this. But I don't know what that is. We also have something on page 48. Um, okay, maybe not. No, yeah, page 48, because we got a hidden treasure from getting the 100%. Then it's page 41. a secret treasure in here there's a pen marking I haven't done anything with yet what on the new stuff that I've just found Page forty one. Oh, I hadn't even seen that. I hadn't noticed that at all. That's interesting. Yep, sneaky things be sneaky in this game. Sneaky things be very sneaky. My headphones cut out right when you teleported and came back in right when you then. Alright, let's change it back to daytime. Good night. Wake up. Fight, fight. What I want to know is where are they sleeping at night so you can kill them in their sleep. <laughs> Surely it's a, like a little bit backwards. You'd thought the monsters would come out at night as opposed to the daytime, right? Yeah, I mean, typically that's when you think about that kind of stuff based on TV and movies. This is why it's unexpected and sneaky. It's sneaky like that. 
Sneaky like a fox. All the invisible bridges. Hey! Forever friend. All right, I need to go to... Does anybody remember where the place for all of these all of these remember where it is Deathwish uh <laughs> what the thing you know what I'm talking about <laughs> yeah you're asking the wrong person I remember the areas as you go to them but I, I don't remember because I'm not the one controlling it. So I don't have muscle memory and any of that stuff you have actually paying attention to which direction you're going. <laughs> that's, that's the downside of being a spectator. Because I tend not to pay that close attention when I'm not controlling things. Zip around as quickly as we can. I'm sure we'll find it. Zip, 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 zip. Collect some more coinage as we go. Just yeah. why not? Let's be honest, we haven't got enough. Yeah, that circle. Yeah. The circle room. Okay, that's what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, I remember the room. I uh, no clue where it is. I think it's right. Found it in the old house. Oh, well, we're asleep? I remember I kind of like go through an area and then I walk. Yeah, this way. There it is. Oh. What did I do? Okay, uh, uh. yeah, where are the rest of them? Put them up. All right, so. This, this is what we've got. So we've found 28, 53, 53, 41. 48, 34, 34, 41. 41. Okay. Oh. So chests find. Got page 11. I'm just going to do them in. Numerical order. Chronological order. 28 slash 34. Uh, 28 and 34. Yes, yeah, on both pages, I assume. 32, 39, 40. That's 51, but does that also, is that also insinuating it's on page one as well? Fifty-one. Start at fifty-one and then go to page one, maybe. It's not a plus or minus or anything. It's like fifty-one to go to one. Uh, ten annotations. Well, fortunately. You don't have page one. I have page one, yeah. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I wonder if... I 
I wonder if that is to do with that secret. Well, it must be. Uh, well, if you go it's... to page 51, maybe that gives you page one. Like 51 gives you page one. That's what that means, maybe. I don't know. I'm reaching. See, it's this thing here. It's like the way the way I've always like translated this is that you put a page under the water for 60 seconds, but how can you do that? Like, legitimately. You have to be quiet. Shh. And I think shh is saying, like, oh, there's a secret. But, it, like I said, to me, I translate that as there's water. You've got a page, and you put a page underwater for 60 seconds. Yeah, the... I see her page saying Shh, and yeah, the writing on the top and then whatever at the bottom. Page 51. The numbers on page 54, these ones. The, I believe these are telling us pages in the manual we can find um, information or hints to where we will find the artifacts for this room. On, well, on that particular spot. The page flipping is quite satisfying, I must say. Now, it says that there's something on page 11. If that is the truth, of course. The chest there, I don't think we've seen a chest there. Oh, we that's out in a straight open. I know where that is though as well. That's here. When your sword just appears. Now we have flowers. This is where we started the game. I'm pretty sure, yeah, like I deduced before, seeking spell is no good to us anymore. Did you ever have a seeking spell? Rather, as a kid, we had speaking spells. <laughs> Or is that just an American thing? Speak and spell. Um, is that that like electronic thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I know what you mean. I never had one, but you see them all the time. Okay, so one thing I notice, and I don't think it, I don't know if it mean if it equates to anything, but we've got one tree, two trees, three trees. Sound like uh, the count. We got one tree, <laughs> two trees. 
tree. You got a tree. <laughs> Nothing else in the manual page. Oh. You sneaky, sneaky person. Whoever owned this game that I bought pre-owned and they drew in the manual. Oh, uh, are you telling me <laughs> that all these are Elvis drawings? I thought it was part of the game. Yeah, I, I, I thought Elvis had donated a brand new game. Not like one that he'd already played and like graffitied the manual multiple times. Yeah, I, I literally thought the. <laughs> I thought that that was just a nice little way that the game did it. it was the pencil because I've seen games like that where they do stuff like that. I didn't know that was, he, he took screenshots of his own markings and arts and crafts. That's is there more to it than that? Because that's not doing anything. Can you see any other way through this? Okay. Nobody thinks I drew it correctly. So I don't see any other way to go, and I assume there's just like a couple of staggered inputs. There we go. Ding. Back to work. All right. So next page we're looking for is... Achievement unlocked! 28. <laughs> so our next clue is on page 28 and 32. 54. No, 28 and 34. So 28. Oh my goodness me. All right. Now I'm wondering... This is, some, this is something to do with the music. This is something to do with the music because we've got this here. And then if we look at the overworld map here, we've got this here. But what does it mean? I like how the previous page had the shapes within the whole of shapes. The what? Yeah, like you got the the shapes inside of the shape is the shape that creates all of the shapes. The of the outside. Okay. The, the yeah. you know the big the eight sided piece that the chicken is clucking at. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, never mind. It doesn't doesn't mean anything. I was just making an observation that meant nothing to do with anything or as any way involved in this game or uh, answers to anything ever. Yeah, music notes, chicken clucking. No, I mean, I, the, the whole way through this, I theorized that the chickens, you had to do something with the chickens because they run away from you. Um, I don't know how that translates to... Unless there's more to the old house than meets the eye, in the sense of... Okay. 
Um... So, okay. Um, That's that's bad gameplay for people like me. I would have never gotten that. Meaning, because my hearing is so bad, even with headphones on. I mean, looking at the wind chime before, like, trying to figure anything else out, I can see, like, the, the pattern of the wind chime is if you're going to go, like, a one, two, three, four, like some of the puzzles, it's going to be south, west, east, north. Um... If you're going to go to kind of, like, smallest... Uh, largest so which would be the highest Am I right in saying the largest chime would technically be the lowest sound? Yeah, I mean that's how that's how they work. Larger the lower. Same thing with like a xylophone or anything else. The larger pieces produce a lower tone. Because the smaller pieces have a quicker vibration, which means higher. Uh, I'll be is if I'm thinking the the pairs of sounds are they telling the direction you go well going back to the map and this
Now, I think the sounds... If you translate the sounds, they translate to a direction. So you've got... Because these ones here... I, uh, I, th I think they're all like north, south, east, west. Obviously, this is northwest, southwest, southeast, northeast. So I wonder if the... I was going to say, I wonder if, if like the two notes together are telling us a direction. Problem with that is I've heard, sorry, I've heard the same note in the same pair. So that would kind of like completely blow that theory out of the, out of the water. This was like the worst. This is what I struggle with the most on the witness, too. Well, other than color puzzles, but like. Trying to identify those sounds on the freaking ship, man. Yeah, I have trouble with sound puzzles. Mainly due to my hearing and... Yeah, mainly due to my hearing. <laughs> I, can, I can hear if something's out of tune and things like that, but... Sounds like if you if you combine them, it's kind of like there'll be a a, a a north, like say a northeast a southeast, which would be an east. If you combine it, I don't know. That's yeah, I don't know. I'm uh, I'm not just out of the back seat. Doors open and I'm in the bar across the street right now. <laughs> like at least in Quern, the Quern was a little different with the sound puzzles. I didn't have too much trouble with those. But a lot of stuff in here is a lot more cryptic. The thing, yeah, but the thing is, I'm struggling with here. I, I've not really heard anywhere that defines a start or an endpoint. Well, so, I thought that there was a a longer gap. If you listen, there's a longer gap before it starts again. Unless that was just me. Like right there, right there before that seemed like the longest gap. The other thing is I can't... Struggling in my head, I know there's only four notes, but I'm struggling to kind of like identified the middle two notes like which way like whether or not they are it's like the second highest or the third highest
Um, uh, like, oh, fucking, oh, yeah, like, uh, what now that you turn down the rest of the volumes, listening to just the chimes and uh, LB could either let me know if I'm right or wrong, but each one has a different direction up, down, left, right. Because if so, I think I'm, I think I'm right about something. Uh, Here's a pause. There's 14 directions. Am I hearing it wrong? My pen. Where's my pen? A bitch. Yeah, 14. There's 14? Okay. Hold on. Yeah, it's it's four turns. Uh, uh, I've gotten up, down, right, up, down, left, up, down. Left, up. Down, left, right, up. Uh, what I got uh, is down, left is repeated three times. Is that right? Yeah, I got up, down, right, up, down, left, up, down, left, right, down, left, right, up. So I got down, left, 
repeating three times, but not next to each other. The space in between. Yeah, I'm done with the pen. I don't I don't know what else. That's not it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting this. I mean, would it be out of boundaries for you to try what I wrote? I'm not being funny. I'm I put you on deafen because I was trying to listen, and every time oh, okay. I was listening, you was talking over, so I just like muted you. So if you said anything, yeah, no problem. Two or three minutes, I don't know what you've said. Oh, that's fine. No, I totally understand. No, that's cool. Uh, what did you say? Uh, uh, I'm saying I think I think I got it, but I'm not sure based on some of LB's comments, especially the one about the, you can assume that the start point is whatever results in no repeated directions being part of the input. Maybe it's my. See, I'm like, like the first, the first five. If, if I'm, I'm assuming that like the, the the long pause is the end, and then what comes after the long pause is where it starts, and then, like for the the first five, I've got like I've got like low high, high low, high high, low high, high low like a re re repeated section for the first five but um i, I don't know i honestly my, don't know my, my first five uh, i mean I, I i've got 14 directions that i wrote down uh and changed i guess during that whole course uh I will say my, I'll say the seven, uh, first seven up, I got her up, down, right, up, down, left, up. And there's, like you said, there's repeating ones down, uh, down, left, repeats three times. So that's 
So I have up, down, right, up, down, left, up, down, left, right, down, left, right, up. So the the down left is broken apart by one uh, turn. Earth wish Earth. first nine is correct. Okay. Well, I'm going to quit there because I have no clue. <laughs> Other than that, I thought I had, yeah, uh, I would say I, I feel pretty good about that then. And I don't think I would have ever gotten this by myself. I know for a fact I wouldn't have. 